The AI reference panel serves dual purposes. First, if I'm looking at the current project, these are the different times I've called the shot a reference. And double clicking allows me to go ahead and set that for a given shot. So here I am on my headshot, which is a graphic. And if I double click, it's going to try and make it look like that reference. It's also lighting up that reference with a fingerprint. Well, this is great. This means we can sit back and start really experimenting. If you ever see this dialog box, it says, hey, should I use the look that's on it or from the reference? I nearly always say, use the reference show look. Go here to the AI references. Let's see, let's see if we go here. Let's see if we get some suggestions. There we go. It's doing it based on tags like wide and exterior and day. I'm gonna say, show me all, and I can just double click anything. Use the reference show look, and it makes it match from here. It's not just, this is part of what makes it super flexible is you can start putting, hey, I'd like it to look like this famous film frame or this photography and try and have the AI model match it. I'll set this back using versions. 